here again. You are. I could see there was some reluctance to lead in those last few laps. What were you thinking was your best choice? Yeah, so the last few years I've come and raced here, it's been about time. So the world record in the DMR, the American record in the um, two mile that I had to try twice because I didn't quite finish the race the first time. Uh, and so this race today was just about winning. Like every single time we talked about strategy, it was not about the split, not about the clock. I'm pleasantly surprised with how well I felt at the end and kind of a little bit wish I knew what I was in shape to really do. You know, if I really like pushed and tried um, uh, to see every second that was there, but today was just really about just trying to win. And Emma, it seemed like you were pretty comfortable with the pace, and then maybe it was just not going to be any faster. Yeah, the plan was to just zone out behind Sarah, and I felt really good coming off of Milrose, and felt like if I had a rabbit that I could just zone out behind, then I could get another PR. So, um, the goal was also to win, but for me it was definitely more about trying to run a fast time and prepare for um, racing for a win, um, you know, in the coming weeks at USA. So, I am disappointed that my last kilometer didn't uh, crank it up like I had planned um, and disappointed that when Jenny went around me, I couldn't latch on um, and find another gear, but I'll uh, go back to Colorado and try and rest up and uh, try and have a better performance in Albuquerque. Jenny, how much do you change your training to incorporate the speed into what you um, This is the least I've changed my winter training in like four years. I've had some really, really great training the last three or four weeks coming into this, um, but really if we took like a no race plan versus racing here, we changed probably about 10 days out. Um, started saying, okay, we'll get ready to be able to close hard. Um, and that felt very risky to me and I was nervous about it. But when you have good training and, and good racing instincts backing you up by this point, uh, I'm really happy to be able to come out, do a good race, um, have a great effort, close well enough to win, and then go back to training. I, I think there's a lot of pride on the line in particular at this meet. Yeah, to be anything but win here is a huge disappointment. And I am not shy about that kind of stuff. There's certain races, you know, world championships, final, anything less than a medal feels disappointing. Coming here and not winning and going to Fifth Avenue not winning. There's other races that it just would, it's win or die, you know? And so today definitely felt that way. And so I'm really glad. Uh, I, yeah, there was a piece of me that was kind of doubting, uh, you know, how, how well can we step out of training for these limited days and pull it off. But um, I really trust my coaches and that was, that's what it comes down to. I trust my coaches um, and this venue and it, it worked out. After a result like this, do you, do you give any thought in the back of your mind to running USA? So I guess why, why not? Um, you know, here the, the only reason is that I'm rocking and rolling in September and February comes around and I think, oh, it's, it's, it's tough every single year to come back and try and race so soon again. Yeah. Um, and so uh, that's, that's the only reason. That's the only reason I don't run indoors is because I just want to be able to like be good enough to myself that I can be great in the summer. Um, and so, no, I'm not, I mean, I have a plan. I'm not super tempted to, to run indoors. Um, but one of these years, maybe I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll run an indoor season. And as a competitor, obviously the goal is to win the race, but do you ever have a little, yeah. I guess, guilt maybe? Like just sitting on Emma for so long in that race, just like, <laughs> is over of however like 12 years of running at a high level this is the first race of my entire life I felt like a little bit bad sitting on her the, la the latter stages because I felt this huge train of people behind me and I just know what that's like I know what it's like being the leader I know what it's like being the predator um, and Emma is such, has been such an amazing teammate I respect the way she trains and works hard um, and Sarah is such a friendly um, teammate as well you know a friendly face to have pacing the race um, and so, yeah, I mean, you're certainly using the person that's in the front when you're someone like me lurking behind, ready to go. Um, but that guilt is very fleeting uh, when you go around him and you feel well and, and the race is really on because there's people behind me that want to beat me. So, you know, Emma is one of however many people on the line that are all trying to win. So there was a pang of guilt, though. It was it was uh, a special feeling because I've never had it before. But she's a great competitor and I respect her and that's the only reason I would feel that way. Thank you.